Hi, John W. Brewster here on our kind of rainy day, and uh, I want to start now and let's talk about prepping the coupons, nipples. Uh, it's two different terms people use, coupons, nipples, but it's the little pieces of pipe that you're going to cut to practice on or to take a welding test. If you're in a welding school and you're trying to save your pipe, you might cut them two inches. The problem with that is, is that one side you're going to have a place for your arm if you're a tactile piece of pipe. The other side you're going to have to put a, uh, a pair of vice grips or something to kind of stabilize yourself. It's not the ideal situation. But if you cut your coupons really big, um, you get a little bit of a hassle about the cost of pipe and all that. So whatever size you cut them is fine, but we're going to talk about how do you prep them. Now, if you, were, if you were on a job somewhere and you pulled up to take a welding test, there may be a pile of these laying there that had already been cut. And uh, when I was a foreman, I'd have a helper if we were gonna test a bunch of welders, and I knew to tell him this. A lot of times they don't or they don't care. Your helper may not care to clean that tip very often. So he's just up here butchering these things off, and you can tell they're full of slag, and it's slag that won't come off easy. You gotta hammer it out, things like that. And you're going to be in a position that you have to go find the best, uh, uh, worst ones. If you're going to do it right, if you're a foreman, or you're cutting a bunch of these coupons for yourself, you want to clean your tilts. And you'll be able to tell when, it, when, the, when the bevels start having too much slag and they don't cut crisp, the sound. It might be, you might be able to cut three of these and then clean it again. It's really the accumulation of the inches of travel. But you'll see I can make three cuts of 12 inch. I gotta clean my tip again, all right? The other thing you wanna do is you cut them. If I was gonna cut these for a test, they would be six inches uh, long. So that when I put them together, I have 12 inches. Why do you need 12 inches? Because when you cut your straps out, your pieces of metal that come across the well to bend them in horseshoes, you need nine inches. And a lot of times you have a machine that sits on the top of those two coupons that are welded and you need 12 inches for that thing, that machine to sit up there right. That's one reason. The other thing you want to do is you want to number them. So if I was up here and I'm, I'm going to start cutting, I'm going to start cutting this pipe right here. Every time I cut one, I want to number them. This six inches of one, a one, and then the next set would be two, two. So every time you cut a set, all right, we're going to start with number one. I cut the first one, number one. I cut the second one that's going to mate up to it. That's also a one. So that, that set is one, one if you go on that pile. Then you would do two, two, three, three, however many you cut. If you cut a dozen of them, 12, 12, they're going to be laying there in a pile. Now, why is that important? High, low. You guys are new and don't know what high, low is. That pipe is egg shaped. When it comes from the factory, it's only guaranteed for so many inches to be truly true to that dimension. After that, it's allowed some tolerance, and it can be like this. We call it egg shape. This pipe is not completely round, and it can be a little bit, or it can be a whole lot. Sometimes you get these coupons that are cut in the middle of a joint, and it literally looks like an oval a little bit. So when you mate them up together, you're going to have this ridge in here in different places, and that makes it hard for you to take a test good. So that's one tip right there when you're cutting. That's how you want to cut them for yourself or anybody else. And that way, if they're egg shaped, they will be equally egg shaped. And at least you'll get a fit without that high low end. I'm Gerald W. Brister, and that's your pup cutting tip.